So I don't want to say that in an improper way. I just haven't had the time to word it in the most elegant way possible. Kanye West took to Twitter on July 20th with several messages directed towards Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner, and the tweets have left Kim deeply upset. We've got all the details in today's Us Daily. The Twitter spree came hours after his first presidential rally, where he revealed that he and Kim had discussed aborting their eldest daughter, North. Even if my wife were to divorce me after this speech, she brought North into the world, even when I didn't want to. Kanye has since deleted the tweets, but he did claim that Kim tried to have him hospitalized after his remarks about North. He tweeted, Kim was trying to fly to Wyoming with a doctor to lock me up, like on the movie Get Out, because I cried about saving my daughter's life. He added, if I get locked up like Mandela, y'all will know why. She had the pills in her hand. Do people know these pills where you take the pills? And if you take it, it's a wrap. The baby's gone. A source told us that Kim is deeply upset with Kanye for talking about their personal life and for making matters that are very personal to them and their family public. She was taken aback by his comments regarding North and is trying to process everything. Kim is usually able to help him keep his mental health in check, and Kanye speaking like this was shocking to her. Now, during his Twitter spree, Kanye twice referred to his wife of six years as North's mother, claiming he put his life on the line for their children, that Kim would never sell her sex tape, and he also tweeted that the Keeping Up with the Kardashian star would never photograph North doing Playboy, and that's on God. She, you know, she's my joy, and she brought my new joy into the world, and it's no, there's no paparazzi and there's no blog comment and there's nothing that, you know, is going to take that joy from me. He also tried to use Twitter to get in touch with Chris and Kim, telling them to call him now and wrote, Chris, don't play with me. You and that Kamye are not allowed around my children. Y'all tried to lock me up. Now, Kamye is the nickname for Chris's boyfriend, Corey Gamble. Anything he does, and I just think this is important to say, is he always does things with really good intentions. So... I'm going to let him explain himself when the time's ready, and okay. I just keep rolling on, yeah. trying to keep up. Yeah. Now, Kanye later shared a screenshot of a text message he sent to Chris that read, This yay, you ready to talk now, or are you still avoiding my calls? But I think what I really want to do is be there to help him and be the best version of himself that he can be, and he knows that we're there if he needs us. Now, shortly after he deleted much of the Twitter rant, he then proceeded to promote his forthcoming album, Donda. Following Kanye's presidential rally, a source did tell Us Weekly that the Kardashians and people close to Kanye are definitely concerned. A source added, Kim has tried so hard to help him, but now she and her family feel as though he's really crossed a line by talking negatively about them publicly and sharing private family matters with the public. She feels helpless at this point.